my name is Robin Mather. Um, I run Robin Mather Cycles. I'm a frame builder based here in Bristol. Uh, I've been uh, building bike frames now for uh, about 23 years. Um, most of that time full time and, and professionally, but with periods of other work interspersed. So the, the bicycle that I've brought to the show um, is uh, a, a result of some curiosity on my part about the um, effect of head angle and trail on the way that a bike handles. Um, so it's got an a adjustable head angle in the range of 90 degrees back to 64 and a half degrees and it's got a trail uh, in the range of 95 millimeters to minus 32 millimeters and those, those two uh, two things can be adjusted independently of each other and then uh, in an attempt to get some objective output it's got a, a, a data recorder uh, which runs on a, a paper tape and it records the steering angle the steering torque and the lean angle of the bicycle so as you ride the bicycle those are effectively the three control inputs that you have so by changing one of the input variables and, and doing that systematically and then looking for changes in the output. Um, I hope to build up a picture of exactly what effect those things have on the way the bicycle handles. Yeah, it was, uh, I guess, a little bit whimsical, um, but it's with the materials and the um, skills that I have available. And so I felt I had an intuitive sense of how to make it and how to interpret the output and also the fact that the bicycle itself is a, is a nice, simple mechanical device and I quite like the idea of analysing it in, a, in, a, in that spirit. Um, so uh, it's, it's potentially quite labour intensive but uh, I thought I'd give it a go and, and see where it went. Well, in, in a sense I didn't quite know what the, what the parameters were, what I was, exactly what I was trying to achieve, so I decided not to spend too long uh, thinking about it and I just got on and made it so um, some of the decisions I made were a little bit arbitrary and may turn out to be incorrect um, but I, I realized I wouldn't know until I'd done it so I got on and did it. Uh, it's about six weeks from start to finish um, most of my time was spent on this but there were you know other things going on getting ready for the show and um, a few other commitments but uh, yeah about six weeks. I've ridden it a little bit uh, I haven't had a chance to ride it systematically and carefully, but I've ridden it enough to, to think that it's capable of measuring something, but I don't know yet what it's measuring. It, can, it, it will feel like a conventional bike if I set it up with a head angle and a, and a trail like a conventional bike. Um, obviously there is some observer effect, so it's not quite the same as a conventional bike in the sense that it's rather heavy and um, it's got a little outrigger wheel on the back that measures the lean angle, so those things kind of make it a little bit unusual to ride, but it is as close as possible um, to a, a normal bike. But then as I change the head angle and the trail, it feels less and less like a normal bike. Um, but my initial impression is that it's remarkable how rideable it is, even when it's got quite extreme settings, it's still possible to just jump on it and, and ride it without really any period of adjustment. So I, I expect to be riding it in a very systematic and, and rather dull way, actually riding in a straight line at a very specific speed and then making one change to the steering geometry, riding in a straight line at the same speed and trying to observe a change in the output, which I can then attribute to the, to the one thing that I've changed. So I have to change one thing at a time in order to uh, be able to understand the results and to get meaningful conclusions from that. So I don't think it's going to be exciting to ride i think it's going to be quite uh, quite methodical uh, it, potentially it is going to take me some time to uh, run through all the tests and uh, and then to analyze the results and to come to some conclusions yeah i realize that could could take me a long time i've got some ideas about things i might find but i'm trying to keep an open mind as much as possible i'm certainly not expecting to radically change the way I make bicycles or suggest that anyone else should make bicycles in a radically different way. I'm simply trying to better understand why bicycles are the way that they are because they've been evolving for a long time and they're clearly they work. I'm not suggesting that they are wrong. I just don't understand exactly why they are the way they are.